I'm here at the Ocean Cruise Terminal in Southampton and behind me is Piano Cruises Iona which I'm going to be boarding for a 14 night cruise around Spain and Portugal and hopefully we'll get some warmer weather on the way because it's really cold here at the moment. All right, so here we are, I've made it. Um, hang on, I'm not quite, here we are, I've made it. <laughs> I've made it to my cabin. Uh, I've got to say, first impressions, this is one of the nicest cabins I think I've ever had. Very rare do you actually get a sofa in there. Oh, it's, it's quite firm actually. <laughs> it's a lot firmer than I thought it was gonna be. All right, so I think I'm gonna refrain from going to the buffet straight away, because um, that's what I always do. And I am starving, but I think we're gonna check out this room first, have a little look, and then we'll go afterwards. So. Let's have a look at the room. And I want to start with this balcony because they're, they're kind of tease me a bit here with the curtains closed. I don't really know what it's going to look like, but um, I see there's a chair on there. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Try and see if I can get this door open. There it is. Wow. Wow, look at that. Look at that all the way down there. Oh, it's quite cold out there, so I'm going to shut the door and come back inside. Look at this, look. I mean, you can't really see. Let me just zoom out a sec. There we go. Look at this bed, look. It's a nice size. and um, We've got like 500 pillows to use, <laughs> which will be good. Oh, we've got bedside. Oh, oh, oh. They've actually done it. There's a socket next to the bed. Oh, it's so weird how many ships you go on and they don't have. It's hotels as well where you don't have sockets next to the bed. That's really strange. Um, but here you go. We've got our TV. Um, which isn't on actually. Normally they they leave it on, don't they? The one thing I have noticed is that you've got the TV here like more opposite the bed and then you've got the sofa here, but the sofa just kind of looks at myself, <laughs> which is kind of, I guess you can only have one without the other, can't you? You can't do it both ways. I like the mirrors. I like the decor. Uh, this wardrobe actually looks really nice. Um, so apparently my life jacket's in here. Yeah, there we go. Like, he wasn't lying to me. That's good. We've got, what, three or four of them, so we'll be extra safe. Uh, some storage in there. Is there a fridge in one of these? Ah, oh, yes, boy. There it is. Oh, open it the right side will probably help. There you go. And some storage in there. I should move in, man. Look at all this storage. Look, it's crazy. That's pretty much everything, I think. Oh, and you've got this table as well. I like the idea of this. All right, I'll, I'll turn that down, I think. We don't want it blaring heat. Oh, look at this. This ain't a Premier Inn, is it? I mean, I'm telling, you, I'm telling you that now. We've got the glass shower door, which is brilliant, which I think is this one. There it is. Look at that look, a little wood effect floor. A toilet, comes with a toilet. That's brilliant. Um, toilet brush, a little bit of storage, a nice mirror um, for me to take pictures of myself in, I guess. That's pretty much, we've got some hooks. Brilliant. Okay, so the TV's just uh, come on as well. So we'll have a quick look. Has it got the weather? What are we looking at? I've got really confused there because it said 43 degrees. And I was like, it is not 43 degrees. Less than Fahrenheit. Um, so six degrees. I swear it's colder than that. All right. So that is the room. Um, I really like it. Um, it's something different. It's not kind of that generic sort of cabin that you get sometimes with the older piano ships and Princess. They all seem to be the same. Uh, this is very different. It's very elongated, um, but I don't mind that. And I especially love I have a balcony because I did miss it on the Azura, but I couldn't justify paying nearly two thirds as much to have a balcony. But yeah, hopefully my luggage will arrive soon and we can do the fun part of unpacking. The best part of any holiday is unpacking. <laughs> I can't wait. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if my luggage has arrived actually. So hang on, hang on a second. No, it hasn't. <laughs> oh, goody. It's here. 
I don't want to throw my back out trying to do this, but this is quite heavy. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm a jabba dude. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, it's not even. Oh jeez, I'm not sure if I overpacked, but my thinking was if I overpack, it's better than underpacking. It's just more to do later. All right, I'm going to finish off unpacking or start unpacking because I haven't actually started yet. Um, and then that's done. And then that's something that we don't have to worry about um, for the rest of the holiday until it's time to go. But that's ages away. We ain't going to think about that yet. We've got 14 nights. All right, so that is me done. I'm officially unpacked and moved in. For the next two weeks, this is my place. Now, I was just having a look at the old um, horizon that we get. Um, it is strange that we still get paper copies of these um, in the digital age, um, but there you go. Um, I was just checking the important stuff, like the opening times for the buffet. Um, the gym is open 24 hours. But yeah, the time is getting on now. We got on a bit later um, than I normally do um, because my boarding time was later. That's just how it worked out. Um, so the time's getting away from us a bit, and we're kind of getting close to sail away at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another big sacrifice. I'm going to hold off again from going to the buffet, <laughs> literally starving myself, um, so we can get a nice shot of the sail away, and then we'll go and sniff out the buffet. This is the bridge. For exercise, for exercise, for exercise, the general emergency alarm is about to be sounded for guest familiarisation purposes only. Wesley Dunlop and I have the privilege of being your captain for your cruise to the beautiful Mediterranean and it really is my pleasure to welcome you all on board Iona. So at around 6 p.m. this evening we'll be letting go our lines and making our way astern out of the ocean dock. All right, so there you go. We have left England. Let me shut that because it is really cold. <laughs> I don't normally feel the cold, but it is absolutely freezing out there. Uh, but yes, we've left Southampton. We've left the UK. Going to leave all my problems back there because we're not going to bring them with us on holiday. Uh, that's the whole point of going on holiday. Um, so yeah, we're on our way. Uh, we're going to be hopefully getting a bit of some warmer weather. Um, I definitely hope so because we're definitely not sunbathing in that. <laughs> I can tell you that now. We'll freeze. Um, but I've delayed it long enough and I'm just at the point where I just need to go to the buffet. So we're going to do that. Um, I've starved myself for far too long, so we're going to go up there. Um, I have no idea where it is. Um, I assume deck 16 at the back. That's normally where it is. Um, so we're going to see if we can sniff it out, get some food, and then we might have a little wander around, see what's going on. I don't want to explore too much because uh, we've got quite a few sea days um, and I kind of want to save it for that um, just in case the weather's bad. Um, but yeah, we'll go do that, sniff out the buffet, have a little wander, and then we'll just see what the time is and uh, go from there. So um, let's go find the buffet.
All right, so I have a confession to make. Piano Iona is my favourite ship. <laughs> I've only spent a few hours on it, but I already know I've fallen in love with this ship. Uh, it's just, I don't know why, I just love it. Um, so as you saw, I had a little um, exploration of the um, outdoor areas up on top deck. Not too much, I don't want to spoil too much because we have got a long time uh, to spend on in a lot of sea days, but there's a lot of outdoor space, uh, which is brilliant because um, you don't really get that on a lot of ships. Um, they kind of fill it in with restaurants and cabins and stuff, but there is a lot of outdoor space. Um, so if the sun does come out this holiday, you can guarantee that I'll have a nice spot to sunbathe, uh, which is good. All right, so let's talk quickly about the buffet, because as you know, the buffet can make or break a cruise. The food is one of the most important things. Um, I'll tell you my first impressions on Piano Iona, it's good, man. It's very good. I remember someone told me uh, that the food wasn't very good, but I didn't find that at all. I found that there was a wide selection of food. Um, I found that all the food was really nice. Um, so I had the Hunter's Chicken, which was really nice. I had chili con carne and nachos, which were nice. I had a potato salad, which was amazing, like the best potato salad I've ever had. You know, it's not like when you have a Tesco's potato salad and you eat it and you're like, I think that's potato. This was lovely. <laughs> like I was like, wow. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think all the food, the food tasted really good. Be yeah, an interesting music choice, um, <laughs> playing the Titanic theme tune <laughs> on a ship. I mean, that's so bizarre to me that they would do that. It's like playing air crash investigation on a plane. Um, I mean, it is a banging tune, so that's probably why, but it just seems a bit odd to me that they would play that one. Um, but there you go. So yeah, guys, that's going to bring us to the end of day one on board the Piano Iona. Uh, we've got plenty more days to come, uh, so make sure you stay tuned for them as we explore Spain and Portugal on this, my new favourite ship. <laughs> already confirmed. I've only spent a few hours, but I already know. We're going to hope for some warmer weather uh, to come because uh, I really need that warmer weather. I don't like the cold, um, so some warmer weather would be great. I don't think we're going to quite have tanning weather. Um, but something where I don't have to wear like 50 layers of clothes would be pretty good. Um, <laughs> but yeah, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video, and I'll see you on day two, where we'll be at sea.